Welcome, adventurers. My name is Viren, and somewhere in that forest is a treasure. Beneath these relatively calm waters lies the protector of Orai Jin. I've been told about this creature. Legends say that it has four eyes, twelve tails, and teeth the size of a human being. It's the last thing that a lot of adventurers come across, for obvious reasons. I don't want to meet up with We'll go around. Onward! This is it. I can't believe that the Sages of Flory Dur actually managed to keep this one piece. Let's take it inside. That's not a crowbar. This is a crowbar. I don't think I'm going to get it open that way. When you order the crate, this is what you get. I actually thought it was going to be nailed in, but it's actually screwed in. So you need a screwdriver or power drill, whatever you want to get. I'm going to use a screwdriver today. So let's open this thing up. comes in the box if you decide to order it. This just so happens to be the HD60S screen record device for game capture, and this is what I'm going to be using for recording games in the future. It also comes with a mouse pad. This is not something that I was expecting and not something that I particularly had to order separately or select anything. At least I don't think so. I guess I don't know what I bought with it. In this corner, we've got the power cables. It's actually really nice. I like how thin it is. It's a lot thinner than the laptop that I've got right now. The box for it. And then inside of this box, we've got something. Support discs, all that fun stuff. Looks like cleaning supplies and the basic Kit. It comes with this, plugs into the SD slot so that you can keep dust out of the computer. Extra screws, just in case you lose a couple of screws it looks like. Some recovery drive, and those are the actual like drivers and stuff. Then this box is... Yeah, I'm pretty glad that I didn't run into that thing while I was searching for this. Looks like what it tore me up. That comes inside of the box as well. But this, this is what we're all waiting to see. And this is the first time that I've ever seen it too. This is so light. That's the first thing that I notice when I pick this up is it's not heavy. I'm used to having a gaming laptop that feels like you're lugging around like two cinder blocks. So, here we go comes in this beautiful carrying case. I am incredibly impressed by this. There it is.
Alright, now for the actual review of the Origin Evo 15S. I don't normally do things like this, but this laptop deserves a full review in my opinion. Purchasing a laptop or a desktop from Origin is a personalized process. My Evo 15S might be different than yours depending on what selections you make in the creation process. This laptop build has a 4K screen, but there are options for 1080p. You can also customize the hard drive configurations for up to 6 terabytes of space, including the newer M2 solid state drives. This version in particular has an M2 operating system drive at 1 terabyte of space and a hybrid 2 terabyte hard drive. I wanted to wait a little while so I could actually test the computer's capabilities to find any shortcomings that it might have. While there are a few small issues, the laptop's strengths vastly outweigh its flaws. The most glaring is a common issue for laptops. The audio quality is fairly poor. Get a good Bluetooth speaker or a headset for good crisp audio. Previous models have had down-firing speakers in the corner, but the 2018 version of this laptop has speakers above the keyboard on either side of the power button. Overall, the laptop has an extremely solid construction. It's very thin and deceptively lightweight for a machine as powerful as what it is. Along the right side, you have some pretty standard ports, including an SD card reader, as well as a single USB 3.1 port. This side is also home to the audio and microphone jacks. The ports themselves feel like they are very well constructed. Moving on to the left side of the laptop, you have two additional USB 3.1 ports near the edge, as well as two Type-C ports. You also have the standard HDMI port, as well as several other options for hooking this beast of a laptop up to a system of monitors. You'll notice that the left side also has some extra venting. During heavy gameplay, this is the side that will get the warmest. That's likely because this is where the GPU sits. Let's move on to the underside. The first thing you'll notice about this when it comes to the underside of the laptop in comparison to previous model years is that it's extremely open. This lends very well to laptop cooling pads and allows for good airflow to the system's critical components. That being said, after having tested this laptop out in extended gaming sessions, you will definitely want a cooling pad. I've been using the Cooler Master products for years myself, and I have found out that they are extremely reliable. I personally use the Cooler Master NotePal X Slim, which at the time of this review is around $20. I use it specifically because of portability. You'll want something though, since this laptop will get warm during extended gameplay. It doesn't really reach dangerous levels, but it will get uncomfortable in your lap if you let it. That also being said, I don't plan on testing this laptop without the cooling pad. I plan to keep this laptop for a very long time. Overall though, for a laptop of its size and power, it keeps the air flowing remarkably well. Next we'll talk about the top. I'm a writer. I spend a lot of time working on a steampunk-esque novel series that's been in progress for the last 8 years or so. It's taking a while for me personally since I'm building an entire world including races, religions, and all the nitty gritty bits of culture. But I do use this keyboard for long periods of time typing. It's extremely comfortable and ergonomic. The backlit keys are nice at night or in the dark sleeper of the truck when I feel like being a vampire. The touchpad is great as well and has two distinct left and right mouse buttons that feel very robust. It comes with a fingerprint scanner on the mouse pad as well. The upgrade to a 4K resolution screen has a few drawbacks that I didn't anticipate when I upgraded. DPI scaling can be terrible with some programs, but there is a solution. It may not work for all of your beloved programs, but it will work in most cases. Right click on the program itself, it can be a shortcut. Go into the properties, then down to override high DPI scaling behavior. Click that box. 
Then change the drop down menu below it to System Enhanced, and you should be golden. Apply, hit the X, and run your program. Again, I can't possibly test this for all the programs that you have, whether or not it'll work, so take it with a grain of salt. As far as the keyboard's backlighting goes, you can have it set to pretty much whatever color you desire. It also has a lot of things like tempo, flashing, a dance mode, wave mode, cycling colors, a breathing style, things like that so that you can kind of customize how the behavior of the keyboard is. Now down to the internal specs. With this laptop, you'll get the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 graphics card. It is a dedicated graphics card with 8GB of GDDR5 Max-Q RAM. It also comes with the Intel Core i7-7700HQ quad-core processor. This processor is running standard at 2.8GHz, but can be turbo boosted to 38 the maximum amount of RAM that you can get into this laptop as well is 32 gigabytes, which is a hefty amount. It does have an integrated camera and microphone, but I would still recommend using a separate microphone and camera for any serious recording. My final thoughts on this laptop? It's expensive, but it's worth every penny you'll spend. The build that I have will cost you $2,906. The nice thing about this company, and the only reason I personally have this laptop, is that they will help you get set up with payment plans. The overall cost of your laptop with these plans will vary depending on your credit score. This laptop model starts out at around $1,900-ish. I don't regret this purchase at all. It's a powerful and lightweight powerhouse, which is exactly what I need while on the road. It's small and fairly unassuming due to its size, making it a bit more discreet in public locations than a bulky gaming laptop. Since it's light, it's easier to pack up, so I don't have to worry about hauling a heavy computer as well. I do have a bit of a backlog of videos that I have to upload recorded from my old Republic of Gamers laptop. However, I will be filtering new videos with the EVO 15S while I post the older recorded videos. Check the description to see which laptop the video is recorded with. I can attest that this will record and play Far Cry 5 on Ultra Settings without lag. You can watch my VG Cineflix movie style playthrough of Far Cry 5 on Ultra Settings on my channel, or you can join my friend Clancy and I in the misadventures of Far Cry 5. I'm proud to be part of the Origin PC family. If there's anything I missed, or if you have any questions about the laptop that I can answer, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more videos, most of which will be made with this new laptop. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, you are all amazing. I'll see you in our next adventure.